Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll dive into Docker, learning what Docker is, how to install it and how to use it. Every timestamp will be in the description below, so if you want to skip some parts of the video, feel free to do so. So without losing any time, we'll uh, dive into uh, what is Docker. So essentially Docker makes it, makes it easy to create, deploy and manage apps using containers, which are lightweight units that bundle an app and its dependencies. It ensures that your app works consistently across different setups, making making sharing across the team uh, uh, really easy. So the key components of Docker are the Docker engine. Uh, this is the core technology. We'll use this later through its uh, command line. The Docker image, which is some sort of a package uh, that includes everything needed to run a piece of software. Uh, and the Docker container, which is an instance of a Docker image. So now we're going to install Docker. Uh, Docker is uh, is free and can be downloaded uh, from the official website. Uh, so uh, all the links will be in the description below. Uh, go ahead and download the .dxt. Now that we have the installer downloaded, uh, before running it, we need to make sure we have some Windows features enabled in order for Docker to work. Uh, as we'll be running Linux containers, we need to enable the WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux. To do so, uh, we need to search in the start menu for uh, turn Windows features on and off. And right here at the bottom you'll find Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, you can also uh, turn on uh, the virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform. Uh, I'm not really sure if these are required or not, but uh, I found out that sometimes it doesn't work without these. So you can go ahead and enable these. And then click OK and restart your PC. Uh, we will now run the installer. This will take, this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. So the installation was successful, so uh, now it's required to cl close the installer and log out of the system. So I'll do that just now. After logging back in, you'll be greeted with uh, the service agreement. We'll go ahead and accept this. You can just go ahead, uh, go ahead and use the recommended settings for this. Uh, you can skip this step, you, you don't need to sign in to, to, use, uh, to use Docker. Uh, only if you need to upload image images, but uh, that's uh, for an, that's a topic for another video. So we'll just go ahead and skip it for now. Uh, it's gonna ask some survey stuff. You can just fill these. Uh, let's uh, take a walk through through the whole application. So right here uh, is the tab for containers. Uh, right here we'll see running and not running containers. Uh, here are the images uh, that uh, uh, you have downloaded, or for now we have no, no images downloaded, but if you download any, uh, they'll show up right here. So right here we have volumes, so volumes are like uh, hard drives that uh, uh, container u uh, containers use to, to, save, to save data. Builds, uh, dev environments, and uh, Docker Scout are something that we can discuss in another video, but as a beginner's guide, we'll be focusing in containers and images. Uh, we'll now run an image uh, of Ubuntu in Docker. Uh, you can find millions of images in Docker Hub, uh, which is a universal, uh, universal repository for images. Uh, if we search right here for Ubuntu, uh, you'll see the official image right here. Uh, and the command to uh, to pull this image. Uh, we'll run this image using the docker command line tool. So go ahead and open new terminal window. Uh, you can find the full uh, documentation of the CLI in Docker's official documentation. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, to this in the description. As you can see there are lots of commands but uh, for now we'll just use docker run. The command to run the docker image is pretty easy. We do not need to uh, pull the image first because 
we can just say docker run ubuntu and if it does not find the image in the local, local repository it will pull it from the uh, docker hub so we can just hit enter and as you can see it doesn't find it locally so it just pulls it from the uh, docker hub and as we can see it just exited because it uh, didn't have anything to to execute so we can see that uh, the uh, container was created and the image was pulled uh, but it just exited and uh, didn't do anything because uh, we uh, did not configure it to run anything so docker basically needs something to run uh, needs an application to run or or anything like that to make these containers interactive so we can use uh, their terminal uh, we can just uh, add a couple of options in here so the first option we'll uh, we'll have in here is dash i which means uh, interactive uh, this will keep the container running we'll also need a dash t so we can have a terminal uh, terminal uh, window so let's do that let's say docker run dash i dash t ubuntu and we can see that we now have a linux uh, full-fledged lin linux terminal uh, in here so we can run linux commands we can print the working directory we can navigate and uh, we can do all sorts of stuff here we just have a, a, a Linux system just to do whatever we want so this was pretty much as a beginners tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below uh, also if you have any uh, video video ideas or anything you want me to cover uh, feel free to leave the, your ideas at the uh, the comments below for now I'm out